right, so if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, I did get an access port. So I got this access port from the AP guys. They have an Instagram, they have a website. They might have a Facebook, I'm not sure. I haven't checked, I don't use Facebook that often. But I got this access port from them because they offer financing and affordable prices. It is used, but I mean, who doesn't want to buy a used access port? Who doesn't want to save $270? Let me open it up for you real quick. In the box comes with everything. Uh, there's the cable in here. There's some instruction manual. Uh, there's no sticker. I don't have to buy a sticker and put it on my car. But here's the access port itself. From the previous owner, it already has the black faceplate, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm probably going to keep it like that. If I were to get a new one, I'd just wrap this one because it wouldn't use that much material. It'd be easy enough. Uh, it does come with the mount, the gray faceplate, and a micro USB cable for putting tunes and stuff on there. And then as well as the let me see, OBD2 sensor, or not sensor, the OBD2 uh, cable. Today we're going to be installing it on my 2017 WRX. I'm going to, I bought a mount for it as well. It's gonna be up in here, the suction cup, and I'm gonna route the wire down in here, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do as well. Uh, it's just gonna have to open up some panels down here, which is not too hard. I got my camera set up for that. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the access port onto your car properly, um, how to route the cables in the car underneath your dash if you want it to go through the vent as well as how to import tunes from say Cobb, for example, from the internet onto your access port so you can use them on your car. So let's jump right into routing this wire first and then we're gonna install the access port. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is pop off this side trim piece right here by just prying up and out and it'll release the clips. Secondly, to get this part off so you can tuck the wire up underneath, you're gonna remove this Phillips head screw, which I'm gonna do right now. After you remove the screw, you can pry off this whole panel right here. It's just held in with these type of clips. There we go. Next, you're gonna grab your cable and we're going to install it in there. Real quick, I'm going to remove this panel by pushing under and pulling up like that. Perfect. And I'm gonna see if it's easier to route this big ass thing through here this way. Oh, so much easier. All right, so we got the wire routed. Let's go ahead and button everything up. All right, so we got all the panels back in and plugged in properly. Uh, but I got the wire routed. It does move freely, which is nice. It's not pinched. And now I'm gonna get my mount so we can put it up here and then start the access port install. Just a heads up before you start this install, just know that your battery should either be on a charger or you should know that your battery is strong enough and has enough juice in it to last a whole 10 minutes, which is how long this process takes. So when you first plug in the device to your car, it's going to pop up a little menu of how the controls work. And as soon as you're done looking at the controls, you push enter and go ahead and push install and the device is going to start communicating with your car. It is then going to ask you to confirm that this is your vehicle, 2017 United States domestic market WRX with a manual transmission. If everything checks out, you can continue by pushing enter. After pushing enter, it's going to bring you to a screen of all the maps or tunes that are available stock or off the shelf by Cobb. After choosing the map you're going to run on your access port, push enter and it is going to recommend that your battery is charged or on a charger. 
and it's going to begin the process which is going to take around six minutes because it is creating a save file of all the ECU data from the factory just in case uh, it messes up along the way and that it has it for future tunes or maps. It is also very important at this time to make sure that your car does not turn off or that you do not turn off your car or unplug the access port. After everything is done, again, it's going to take around 8 to 10 minutes to finish everything. You're going to get a pop-up menu saying that the installation was successful and to turn your car off for at least 15 seconds before starting the vehicle. After those 15 seconds are up, you can go ahead and start your car up and your access port will be ready to go. Start her up. So we should be stage one. We have now gone stage one. So now that we've got everything settled from stage one with the Cobb stage one, just regular stage one, we're gonna take it inside and we're gonna go stage one plus with Mishimoto Intake. So let's bring your access port inside and let's get that connected to the computer. All right, so once you get on your computer, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the map that you want to put onto your access port. In my case, it's gonna be the Stage 1 Plus Tune or map offered by Cobb. And I do have to purchase this in order to download it, which is fine by me because it's made for my car. But most maps made by Cobb are free. Once you've got this map downloaded and saved on your computer, you can go ahead and start downloading Access Port Manager. The Access Port Manager is just a software offered by Cobb so that you can put maps onto your Access Port from home instead of going to a tuner. After downloading Access Port Manager, go ahead and open it and then that's when you're going to plug your Access Port into the computer. After installing and plugging in your access port to your computer, you're going to browse to where you saved your map file and you're just going to upload it into your access port. Should only take around a minute, if that, and then you'd be good to go. Do not unplug your access port without ejecting it. So make sure that you eject it first and then you're free to plug it back into your car. First, we're gonna start off by putting, oops, I don't want a data log. We are going to go and set up the access port for our new tune. Change the map and we're going to go, we're going to go stage one plus. Where did I put that? Here it is, stage one plus Mishimoto. We're gonna go with that one successful so now we're going to exit we're going to go to gauges and everything's good to go it is hot as